So Bill, we're here at Lark at Pontville in the historical stables and we're here to talk about Lark's first 20 year old age statement release. Now you actually distilled this 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, how amazing is it that we've arrived here today, 20 years after this whisky was laid down. I was able to get a team of distillers together and train them up and our instructions were to make the best whisky in the world. You know, you talk about not many whiskies making it to 20 years old, especially in the Tasmania. There's only 322 bottles of this whisky. I'm just fascinated to see how a Tasmanian whisky has um, performed for 20 years in a barrel in our climate. I just can't wait to taste it. So, should we crack it open and have a look? Yes, please. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Creamy up front, oily and big across the middle of the palate. Wow. I think what strikes me with this whiskey is so big, but it still has elegance and just the balance of it. It's held really well 20 years. That's an amazing whiskey. Oh, gee, that's um, sparkling now <laughs> <laughs> on the palate. And it's finishing really long and warm. Mm. Um, you know, quite exceptional. This legacy release, one of the rarest whiskies on the planet, first 20 year old from the House of Lark. Now, how do you think the Lark whiskey drinking family uh, is going to receive this whiskey? Well, if I can leave a legacy to the Lark whiskey family, um, I'm happy for it to be this one, Chris. I'm a happy man. Oh, good. You should be so proud and cheers. Cheers, mate.